Now, in terms of GDPR, so I think the view from the U.S. is that, again, Europe really has led on this. And even small firms in the U.S., small sort of AI startups, start complying with GDPR from day one because their hope, of course, is to grow large and to serve European customers, and so they need to be compliant with GDPR. Uh, and there is evidence that the, the need to comply with GDPR is costly for these smaller firms that don't have a whole lot of wiggle room in terms of their profit margin. So, so I worry that at the margin, policies like GDPR, while well-intentioned, stifle innovation. So there is evidence that GDPR affects smaller firms. However, I'm not saying that that means we shouldn't have GDPR. I, I want to be clear on that. I, I just want to make sure that we understand that there are trade-offs involved with any type of policy. Mm -hmm. And so what we're saying is that while there might be some innovation that's stifled at the margin, we're saying that we value the sort of privacy gains that we get above that.